hello everyone welcome to our youtube channel in this video we will guide you through the process how to fix retro arch fail to load contain error guys if you are facing this issue don't worry we are going to solve this issue by each step okay so our first step is verify bios and cores retro arch relies on connected correct bios files for many of its simulator and having the wrong or missing bios can result in a fail to load contain error Ensuring you have the correct BIOS file in a crucial for the emulator to function properly. Okay, locate and download the correct BIOS file for the system you are trying to illuminate. Place the BIOS file in a system directory to retro as in a retro as navigate main menu, then load core and select appropriate core for your content. After loading the core, go to main menu, then information, then core information, and verify that required BIOS file are present and detected. Okay, guys. So guys, our second step is outdated retro arch or cores can lead the compatibility issue resulting in the fail to load content error. Okay. Keep retro arc and its core updated ensure that the, you have the latest feature and compatibility improvement. So open retro arch and navigate to main menu and then online updater select update course to download and update the latest version of your course then choose update retro r to ensure the main application is up to date okay guys so our third step is check file path and permission incorrect file path or permission can prevent retro arc from accessing the content causing the error it's important to ensure that retro arc has correct file path and permission to load content Confirm the directory path in a retro arc setting math match the location of your game content. Ensure that the file are not set to read only and retro arc has necessary permission to access them. If you are using the external storage device, verify it is properly connected and readable. Okay. The fourth step is use correct core for content. Loading content with incompatible code with fail choose incorrect core. For a specific game or content you are trying to load in essential for paper animation open retro arc and navigate to load core then select the core that correspond to the content you wish to play go back to main menu and select load content then navigate to game files okay choose the game files to start it with previously loaded code okay guys so fifth step is adjust video driver setting Incompatible video driver setting can also cause the content to fail to load. Adjusting the video driver setting in a retro arc can resolve the issue. So how to do this? Um, navigate to setting and then logging into retro arcs and then enable both logging versus history and log to file. Close the retro arcs to save the setting. Reopen retro arc and attempt to load the game that was causing the error to generate the log files. Okay. Locate the log, log files by checking the network driver path to RetroArch folder for log folder or going to setting then directory then system or event log in RetroArch. After this, open the log file and look for the error message that could indicate the issue such as mismatch between the requested OpenGL context what RetroArch is compiled against. Change the video driver by going to setting, then driver, then video, and selecting D3 D11 as a new driver. Close the restart retro arc and change the take effect. Okay. Try loading the game again to see the issue has been resolved. Fifth step is uninstall and reinstall retro arc. If none of the solution work, the retro arc installation might be corrupted and fresh installation can resolve any deep seated issue. Uninstall RetroArch from your system. Download the latest version of RetroArch from the official website and then install RetroArch, taking care not to overwrite any BIOS or content file you wish to keep. Configure RetroArch setting and try loading content. Okay. Thanks, guys. Having a nice day. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel.